Staphylococcus aureus, often referred to simply as staph, are bacteria commonly carried on the skin or in the nose of healthy people. Staph bacteria are one of the most common causes of skin infection in the United States. Most of these skin infections are minor, such as pimples and boils, or have pus or other drainage, and can be treated without antibiotics. Some staph bacteria are resistant to antibiotics. MRSA is a type of staph that is resistant to antibiotics called beta-lactams. Approximately 25 to 30 percent of the population is colonized, meaning staph bacteria are present in the nose, but not currently causing an infection. While 25 to 30 percent of the population is colonized with staph, only about 1 percent is colonized with MRSA. More serious staph infections include surgical wound infections, urinary tract infections, bloodstream infections, and pneumonia. Although the majority of MRSA infections occur among patients in hospitals or other healthcare settings, staph and MRSA can also cause illness in the general population. It is becoming more and more common in the community setting. Data from a prospective study in 2003 suggests that 12% of clinical MRSA infections are community associated, but this varies by geographic region and population. MRSA infections that are acquired by persons who have not been recently hospitalized, meaning within the past year, or had a medical procedure, such as dialysis, surgery, or catheters, are known as CA MRSA infections. The CDC has investigated clusters of CA MRSA skin infections among athletes, military recruits, children, Pacific Islanders, Alaskan Natives, Native Americans, men who have sex with men, and prisoners. Factors that have been associated with the spread of MRSA skin infections include close skin-to-skin -skin contact, openings in the skin such as cuts or abrasions, contaminated items and surfaces, crowded living conditions, and poor hygiene. Practicing good hygiene prevents MRSA. In the outbreaks of MRSA, the environment has not played a significant role in the transmission of MRSA as it is transmitted most frequently by direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. Most staph and MRSA infections are treatable with antibiotics. If you are given an antibiotic, take all of the doses, even if the infection is getting better, unless your doctor tells you to stop taking it. Do not share antibiotics with other people or save unfinished antibiotics to use at another time. Many staph skin infections may be treated by draining the abscess or boil and may not require antibiotics. Drainage of skin boils or abscesses should only be done by a health care provider. If a few days after visiting your health care provider, the infection is not getting better, contact them. If other people you know or live with get the same infection, Tell them to go to their health care provider. It is possible to have a staph or MRSA skin infection come back after it is cured. To prevent this from happening, follow your health care provider's directions while you have the infection and continue to follow the prevention steps after the infection is gone. You can prevent spreading staph or MRSA skin infections to others by following these steps. Cover your wound. Keep wounds that are draining or have pus covered with clean, dry bandages. Follow your health care provider's instructions on proper care of the wound. Pus from infected wounds can contain staph and MRSA, so keeping the infection covered will help prevent the spread to others. Bandages or tape can be discarded with the regular trash. Clean your hands. You, your family, and others in close contact should wash their hands frequently with soap and warm water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer, especially after changing the bandage or touching the infected wound. Do not share personal items. Avoid sharing personal items such as towels, washcloths, razors, clothing, or uniforms that may have had contact with the infected wound or bandage. Wash any sheets, towels, and clothes that may have become soiled. Drying clothes in a hot dryer, rather than air drying, also helps kill bacteria in clothes. Talk to your doctor. Tell any health care providers who treat you that you have or had a staph or MRSA skin infection. These simple precautions can ensure that you and those around you stay healthy and help prevent the spread of disease.